Hello everyone, this is Accelerate Games. I am back with another episode of Let's Play. And I'm continuing Metal Gear Solid Online, Phantom Pain, and today I'm playing as the Infiltrator. I am a level 4 right now, so I have two loadouts currently, and I'll go through that real quick. So because this class excels at close quarter combat and hitting you from behind, um, it's a rogue, stealth um, type class. So I'm actually getting a shotgun on the primary weapon, and my secondary weapon is damage. Uh, well, a pistol for damage. Uh, patrol bomb, which is pretty much like a Molotov. Um, I did not get the carbo box because I want to be as light as possible. So, um, and then my four perks: non-lethal aim, CQ, CQ, <laughs> CQC stealth, uh, interrogation, and Fulton. And so my loadout number two is non-lethal at all, where I only have the pistol, <clears throat> the sleeper pistol tranquilizer, and uh, and I still have the patrol, just in case, and pretty much everything else is the same. But if you notice that my second loadout has a S, that's because I am as light as possible, so I'll move really fast in my non-lethal loadout, which is loadout 2, compared to my lethal, which is loadout 1. Um, don't have much gear right now because I'm level 4, and I have three classes currently right now. My a scout, infiltrator, and tyrant. Oh, not tyrant, but enforcer. So let's uh, queue up and play some multiplayer as infiltrator, and I'll show you some basic tactics on how to play with them. And we're going to queue to the basic bounty hunter right now. I am going to do follow-up videos in regards to the other two roads. Moats. <laughs> and how uh, to use different tactics in it. So, But I'm just going to cover the basic how to play with this class. This class is the hardest class to use, without a doubt. It's a very indirect method, but this class has the ability to turn around the entire game with the ability to sneak up, sneak efficiently around the enemy and actually fold to them. Uh, like the right enemy target could literally turn the game in your favor. I once had a match earlier where I fold to a, a target that had about eight bounty uh, tickets on its head, and as a result, I fold to them within 10 seconds. And it went through, and I, we actually won that match because of that. So keep that in mind that killing is not the only way to win in um, in Bounty Hunter. And it really creates a complex and layered type of multiplayer where it rewards you for not for being non-lethal. So I like that fact because most first-person shooter only focuses on being as lethal as possible. This is probably the only one that focuses on not being lethal. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to play the game as the infiltrator with my character Miss Put in. And we need to go ahead and ready up. Uh, looks like a little imbalance on this team. <laughs> Our team to the right has three solid level people, so I'm going to go with suppressed. That's the best out um, outfit right now or loadout until you unlock more for your customization. So I'm gonna stick with that for right now. I showed the different loadouts I had earlier, but they did not, I have not unlocked camo yet. So until I unlock camo, I'm gonna stick with this one. Walking gears are very overpowering. Placed on you. 
I should have hit down to get my equipment and instead of hit up. two of them. I'm just creating a choke point for them. As an infiltrator, they can't really identify me because I've su suppressed my gun and I can hide. So they usually run by one of two ways. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, <laughs> that was smart. Okay, that was smart when uh, they came with a walking gear, which is fine. I, I will sacrifice my life for a walking gear. a good game so far highlighting this, how the infantry could really control the flow of battle. And we so win. Yeah, we're going to start a second round soon. I had nine kills, five objective, only four deaths. Eliminate or fortum the opposition. So I'm gonna try to execute a similar strategy, however, I'm on the opposite side of the map, so I might not be able to pull it off exactly the same, but the principle remains that you wanna create a choke point or, or difficult for, for the enemy to run around freely. So 
So you are the one that kind of mops them up, to make sure they don't go too crazy. This is Milwaukee Gary. They know where he is because he's running. I'm gonna try to go or watch his back to make sure nobody gets behind him. Okay, so they're in their walking gear also, so so we're gonna trade off. Take him out. Okay, they're playing really smart this one. They're holding it up. This is where your infiltrator really comes in. Because if they're ahead and they keep holding in, then you're gonna have to be either very aggressive and kill a lot, or a combination of Fulton. Okay, you saw me. Let's go. Okay, I thought that was him. I didn't realize. Alright, so I gotta be sniping. So, a sniper versus a infiltrator. Much tougher than before. One minute remaining.
back. First again, oh wow, I guess that last Fulton got catapulted me to first place. And we won two rounds in a row, so... That was a close match. Uh, they did a lot of good things, and it's just the last minute that they uh, missed. And so, um, with that, I want to go in and... Oh, I got a stun grenade. And punch it scared. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and that's like the basic strategies for Infiltrator at the lower levels. As we unlock more gear, we, we have the ability to do different um, and more complex strategies, so I will do a follow-up video once I get to the hopefully maximum level. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.